Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is: The simple interest on a certain sum of money for three years is rupees two hundred twenty-five, and the compound interest on the same sum at the same rate for two years is rupees one fifty-three. Find the rate of interest and the principal. So this is our question. So now solve this. So for this question, we are provided that the simple interest for three years is two hundred twenty-five. So right? S I. For three years, is equal to rupees two hundred twenty-five. So we all know that the SI rate doesn't SI doesn't change; it only doubles itself in the first year, second year. So therefore, we can find out the SI for one year. The SI for one year will be equation. So divided by three, this number two hundred twenty-five by three. So if we cut it, it will become seventy-five. Is the cost rupees seventy five? Is the SI for the first year? So now you can also find out the SI for the second year. So they are for SI for second year. So this number will be uh, multiplied by two seventy five into two. That is the cost rupees one fifty. So you got all the information of the simple interest of first, second, and third third year. So they are nine C that a CI for two years. It is given rupees one fifty three. So and the SI for the uh, second year it is one fifty. So therefore, write the difference is equal to. So difference is one fifty three minus one fifty. That is equal to rupees three. So this rupees three is gained when the interest is uh, coming from the first to second year. So therefore, uh, this three is added to this number, this seventy-five. So if we take the seventy-five as the principal, and the uh, interest as three, so we can get we write that principal into rate into time by hundred is equal to so put down the values. Principal we take as seventy-five into rate is unknown R into time. And time will be one. So as the interest is going from the first year to second year, so between second year and first year, one year gap. So it it is one by hundred is equal to the amount of interest that is three. So seventy five and hundred is cut by twenty five. It becomes three, and here four. So it remains here three year. And this four it take for multiplication as it is in division here. So three into four that is twelve. So now finally, R is equal to twelve by this three. That will be equal to four. So rate of interest will be equal to four percent. So this will be rate of interest. Now you can easily find out the principal with any of these numbers. So do with a simple interest only. That we write. We we came to know that the simple interest for first year is seventy five. So formula is principal into rate into time by hundred. Put down the values. Principal is unknown. Rate of interest we got four into time, that one year by hundred. So one year um the interest for say simple interest is seventy five. So four and hundred we cut it becomes twenty five, and so it becomes principal by twenty five is equal to seventy five. So now finally principal is equal to seventy five into twenty five, which will be equal to rupees. So twenty five into five that is one one twenty five. So twelve uh, taken as carry. So twenty five into seven it it is one hundred and seventy five. So one hundred seventy five plus twelve it becomes one eight seven. So our principal is one thousand eight hundred seventy five. So write down the information that we got that the rate of interest is four percent per annum, and the principal is equal to rupees one eight seven five. So therefore this is the final answer for this question so guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solution